Hello and welcome back to another video, where today I'm going to show you basic green screening with Hipfield Express. So you can be anywhere from a winter wonderland to a big city. So let's get started. Hello and welcome back to another video, where today I'm going to show you basic green screening using Hipfield Express. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drag it in our footage to Hipfield Express. And the first thing out of our boxes here we want to drag in is our background footage and then our video onto the layer above it. So you should see that we are the main footage. If you have to, you can then right click on it and you can go to transform fit to frame if your footage is a bit too big. And you can still see though that there's a green screen, not the picture that we have selected, which is this one. So we can go to effects and then we can type in effects we can type in green and then there'll be 2 d effects green screen key that we can drag on top and it removes it if we find that our bottom footage doesn't fit in we can go transform fit to frame or width like we did with our photo and that matches up we can go along and then we might decide we want to have a forest photo we can then drag this one in and then it will just work, but if you have a blue screen, that last step, the first, that one wouldn't have worked for you. So what we're going to do is you can go to effects, you can type in blue, and then you can drag in blue screen key, and then it will remove the blue. As you can see, I've got a blue shirt, so that works quite well as an example. And then you can select the colour from red, green, blue, depending on what you want it to do. And so that is basic green screen, blue keying, uh, green screen, blue screen, and red screening. Most people would be using a green screen here because green is the opposite hue of the human skin, so it will work quite nicely and also not many people wear neon green clothes. You may sometimes find that you have a green glow, and if you have that case, you just need to light up your green screen better. Another tip I have found is if you are using a sheet, make sure there are as little creases as possible, so maybe iron the sheet out first, and have it stretched nice and tightly when blue tacking it or taping it to the wall. Once you're done with it, you can then just press export, and then you can press export now, contents and then it will just export to wherever you've got it saved to thank you for watching this video if you like this video i will hopefully see you in the next one please consider liking subscribing and i'll see you then bye